Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Big Brigade. <sighs> Welcome back to Mornings with Jesus. And today is Saturday, April 30th. Ooh, already the end of April. That's crazy, isn't it? Time just flies. So our morning devotions start with a Bible verse and then a inspirational story. So if you're new, I welcome you to our channel. And I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. John 10.10 10. Some, here are inspirational stories. Sometimes I can stumble across some real gems while surfing the internet. I came across one recently linked to the long-running animated show, The Symptoms. The, sim the Symptoms. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> the Simpsons. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> My eyes are still a little fuzzy from the the last thing I read. In one episode, daughter Lisa asked her dad, Homer, if he knew that the Chinese used to use the same word for crisis as they do for opportunity. Homer responded, yes, Christunity. Homer's mashup caught my attention. Instead of Christianity, a Christianity, I came up with my own word, Christ plus opportunity. Indeed, there is opportunity in Jesus. Throughout the Bible, especially in the New Testament, I see people whose lives were changed because they chose to believe in the power of Jesus and availed themselves of an opportunity. There's the woman with the issue of blood, of blood Luke four, uh, Luke eight, four, uh, verses forty three through forty eight, who was healed on the cross beside Jesus, the thief who saved and, and forgiven in his final hours, and wound up with the Lord in paradise. Luke twenty three thirty nine through forty three. And Saul, Saul became Paul and was transformed from Christian persecutor to purveyor of the gospel because Jesus talked talk about opportunity. In the Gospel of John, Jesus says he became so that we not only will have life, but will have it more abundantly. For me, abundant life and peace, joy, and a constant awareness of Christ's presence and his power, I also have the assurance that after the, this earth, earthly life is over, I'll land in heaven and live with Jesus forever. The greatest Christianity for all believers. Barbara Lumpkin's Walls. Faith Step. Write down the opportunities available through Jesus who can you share your list with as as a testimony of Christ's love and presence. <sighs> so that's 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 a good one, y'all. That's that's a really good one. I I don't know that I would have had opportunity to run this channel or have the things that I have or even be on this earth if it weren't for my faith in Jesus and my relationship with Jesus. I I, I wouldn't have anything. I wouldn't be anything if it wasn't for that. So I, I don't I don't take things for granted. Um, I try not to because I know from my past, you know, from, from life in general, then it all could be ripped away from you in an instant. In an instant, you could be destitute and without. And uh, it can happen so fast. 
and you just don't even know it. So um, cherish what you have and who you have because, and, and work to keep what you have because you never know when it could be taken from you. And um, I know that, and I don't take things for granted, especially things that have come to me recently. I don't, I know, I, I hope that all you understand that I don't take anything for granted. Um, anyway, um, what, so what, what opportunities that have presented themselves in your life that may, may not have presented themselves without your faith in Jesus? Let me know. Let me know. Leave your comments, uh, prayer request, or whatever you feel uh, the need to leave in the comments. If you have a, pardon me, a private prayer request, feel free to email me. And I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye now.